What's up guys, you're watching Tutorialism. Now today I'm going to show you how I've been working with some vocals that I recorded the other day. Now I had a, a vocalist come around the other day and we tracked some vocals in Cubase. So I'm going to show you how I've imported those into Ableton and I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up a, a device rack and effects chain to work with those vocals. So this is the track that we've been working on. So it's just an 8 bar loop at the moment and it was the other day when the singer came around so I just bounced that loop out of Ableton, stuck it in Cubase, duplicated it a few times then we stuck the mic in, just got it to freestyle and ad lib, just some hums and haws we listened back to what we recorded, picked out some nice uh, melodic bits, some bits that were really working with the track and then she wrote some vocals to that. Now with all the takes uh, that are recorded, I've imported them all into Ableton and I've divided them up into their various sections. So you can see there I've got eight takes of verse one all stacked up on top of each other. And I've put them together and put them in a group did the same for the takes for verse 2, for that middle eight, for this hum and haw and bit, and for the chorus. So as you can see, I've grouped them all together, and above the group, I've entered an audio channel called Vocals, which I've highlighted in brown there. And on the output of the group, I've routed that to the input of that vocals channel so you can see there it's usually rooted to the master I've rooted it to the vocals and I've did that did the same thing for all the other groups so ev so everything all the vocals will be coming out of that brown vocals channel so I've just unmuted one of the tracks there The level there that it's coming through that vocals channel so first things first now I recorded this I recorded these vocals in my front room and the microphone was picking up a little bit of room noise so the first thing I need to do is remove that noise so you might have to turn your speakers up or your headphones up to be able to hear this can you hear that that's just the noise that was being picked up out of the room from the mic so I'm just going to find a loop where there's no breathing from this from the singer and no movement from her feet being picked up just a clean noise loop and I've loaded up this denoise plugin from Acon Digital. Going to click on Learn from Noise Only. So it's going to make a noise profile of that noise loop that I've just made. And then click on Freeze Noise Profile. And you heard there, it's cut out all of that noise. So I'm going to adjust my loop brace and go back to where the vocals were and check the noise suppression to signal ratio make sure it's not dampening the vocal signal too much so with that I was going to take out the reverb and the delay so you can hear better. Back, that's fine, but I don't Without. have any time. And with. You said that you'd be here. I've come so you can hear it's taking out the noise nicely, but I'm losing a bit of sparkle at the high end. 
So I'm using You'd the emphasis filter to add a high I shelf just have any time. So without You said that you be here I come you with That's working nicely. Next up some EQ, some subtractive EQ. In the bottom end there, I'm getting a lot of lower end energy. I don't need that, so I'm just going to uh, cut that out. Uh, a bit of a high cut as well, just in case. And some, com some compression. Use an Ableton stock compressor. Switch to that third view because I like it. Take the makeup gain off, switch the mode to RMS, and it's going to add a little bit of compression just to calm the peaks down. So I don't want to over compress it, make the vocal lifeless. Just want to bring those, the level of those. Uh, loud this down a little bit. So next up, a bit of DSing, and I'm using Sleepy Time DSP, which is a free DSer. Uh, I think it's called Lisp. It's from Sleepy Time DSP. So the reduction dial there, it's just you going to bring down the loudness of the S's. Let's press on that listen button and you can hear exactly what's being taken out. Don't know if you can hear that. You said that you'd be here, I've come, you've disappeared. So it's just reducing the S's a little bit, but to be fair, the S's you weren't that, that bad in the, in the actual I've recording. Come, you've disappeared. You said that you'd be here, I've come, you've disappeared. So I've got a high buffer size on my sound card there, so you can see that. The meter's not moving exactly in time. Next up, a little bit of pitch correction using M Auto Pitch, which is from Melda Productions free bundle, so free to download. So you can hear the S and that disappear with a bit high, so I'm going to lower that down on the DSer. Back with the pitch correction. I'm going to switch the key to G minor, because that's what we're singing in. Just solo the vocal up so we can hear what that's doing properly. You throw them back, that's fine, but I don't have any time. So, here when she said have, it sounded a little bit computerized. So, I'm going to turn down the speed dial a little bit. You throw them back, that's fine, but I don't have any time. You said that you'd be here, I've come, you've disappeared. You throw them back, that's fine, but I don't have any time. So have is still a little bit computerized, so I'm going to turn down the depth. Okay, 
this and now that's all sorted usually what I'll do now is ride the fader of the vocal channel now in a DAW it's a bit clumpy you really need a, a full size fader to make this a, an enjoyable task now I know Waves have got an automatic vocal rider which I think they're selling about $200, $300 something like that so to cut down on my drone and the automation I'm going to try and make a, an automatic vocal rider using the envelope follower so I'm going to turn up the gain which just adjusts the sensitivity of the envelope follower this first value I'm going to set to 84 which is going to be the highest point that the fader will go the second value I'm going to put to 60 that's going to be the lowest point that the fader will go click on map and then map it to the volume you can see it's doing his magic there maybe a bit extreme so turn the lowest point down a little bit turn it to 73 and that risen fall is like the attack and decay so how quickly the faders responded so i'm just going to raise the rise and fall just so there's a bit more of a smooth fader movement. Yeah, that's leveling things out nicely. Gonna add a bit of makeup again. Lufticus EQ. It's a free EQ, I really like this one. Switch it to analog mode. That boost to 2.5 sounds really nice. Adjustment in volume. Next up is this multiply again by Acon Digital. This one's free though. So cool this plugin. It's like a chorus effect. Turn the voice count down to two and the effect level down a little bit. There, I've got a reverb. Nice. And send D, I've got a delay. before I've got all of those vocal takes being fed into this channel with now with this uh, effect chain on so now I can go ahead go through all the different vocal takes find the perfect little bits stick them all together and then I can build the whole track around that right so that's it for today big thank you to all the people who are liking subscribing commenting all of that good stuff you guys are awesome as always and that's it for now peace